Hello everybody! Welcome to my channel. My name's Leanne, or welcome back if you've been here for a while. Today we are doing the flip through of the second half of my Omni Journal, and I have completed it. The second half is February. If you didn't see the first half when I flipped through it in January, I will leave it linked in a card up above. So you can pause it and go watch that and then watch the second half if you'd like. So I believe the last page you saw was this page. So we'll start here. So this um, was just kind of like a work day. I threw some paint down in the background. Um, I was kind of dreaming of being able to stay on the beach this summer while I worked. So that would be kind of cool. This was a, I apologize for any dog barking in the background in advance. This is a drawing that I did in a different sketchbook and I really, really, really liked how she came out. And I had mixed this beautiful watercolor color. Um, so I just printed a picture of her out and stuck it in there. This is just a to-do list. I finished the book um, Stiff, The Curious Lives of Cadavers. So I put that there. This is some um, collage elements from Patreon. I felt like drawing a mermaid tail, so I did that there. Because this um, background really reminded me of water the way it came out. So that's there. This says, Creativity is not a talent, it is a way of operating by John Cleese, and I really liked that. That's from Courtney's Patreon, so I put that there. Some journaling, to-do list. Um, this was another one where I was just playing with watercolor and paint, and I got gla new glasses, reading glasses from Michaels. Um, you've seen me wear this pair quite a few times in my videos. So I just kind of did a little collage thing there. Um, and then I put my to-do list, um, and I entered a design team, which I didn't get on, but that's okay. It's good practice. Um, so I had put the qualifications for that in there. This, um, on a whim, I just made chicken parmesan, and it came out phenomenal. Baked chicken parm, so I was really excited about that. I started decorating my Jane Davenport butterfly books. I will leave the full video for that up in a card above too if you haven't seen that. Um, this is just an acetate piece that I loved that I had never used yet so I decided to do it on there. Um, at this point I was really into making mixed media ATCs um, and Marta over at Miami Small Art. She's on YouTube and Instagram and she has a Facebook group. Um, she does a tutorial where she makes ATCs, mixed media style. She's super inspiring. It's a long video, so you can actually do it along with her. Um, and I will leave that video linked in the description box below if you'd like to check that out. Um, I love putting her on in the background when I'm creating. Even if I'm not making mixed media, she's just an awesome woman to listen to. Um, and her English is adorable. I love it. Um, and she's always just so excited to share her projects with you. So I wanted to put in there that she inspired these cards for me um, and how much I like watching her stuff. So this was kind of a introduction page to February. Um, I just used some watercolor for the background and then this is Tim Holtz Mica Spray in my favorite antique bronze color. Um, and some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist in the Black Beetle sprinkled on there. This is a collage piece um, from Pam's Patreon, which I will put there. And I did have a lot of, someone ask me um, how it is to be like a customer or a patron on Patreon, um, being on the side of pledging to creators. So I'm going to do a separate video all about that um, for those of you that might not understand what Patreon is or how to use it. Um, so keep an eye out for that. If that is something that you're interested in as well, please leave it um, in the comments below and I will be sure to put that out faster. So this was from Courtney's Patreon. She makes these uh, monthly calendars and I like to use mine to put my goals in on the back or things I want to accomplish for the month and I wasn't super in love with the bear that she had so I put the alien photo on there. 
Um, she does beautiful drawings, it just wasn't quite my thing. So, that's that. And these were my goals, and I just jotted down how many subscribers I had at the beginning of the month, which is a lot more now, so thank you guys for that. I didn't like how this page came out, so I stuck a Courtney Patreon huge ephemera piece on there and did some doodling and called it good. So, um, this, I just put some stuff down. I lost my pen and I was really freaking upset about it and I couldn't find it. Um, so I was just kind of writing about how I was in a journaling funk and couldn't figure out why. And I found it, it was because my favorite pen was gone. This is a fold over flap. There's some personal journaling in here, so I'm not going to open that, but that's what that is. More Patreon collage. This was something we got in chunk mail. Um, this is a, it says a salty pirate needs a beautiful mermaid. And I really liked the colors of her tail, so I put that in there. This is a pocket. This was my to-do list for a few days. A shopping list, more to-do list. And I really liked the picture of this girl. It just said freedom to me. Um, and I wanted to include her, so I thought she added some cute interest to this pocket of to-dos and such. And of course now I can't get it back in. This was kind of when I started really getting into putting pockets into my journals, so you'll see a lot more coming up. I got this magazine rack, um, and I've wanted one for a really long time, and usually they're like $40 or more, and I found one for $10 at um, a shop called Rennie's, which is kind of like um, an overstock store that we have here in Maine. Um, so I was super freaking excited about that. Um, I was really like itching for summer and warm weather, so I made this awesome collage. This is my pet turtle right here that I, I cut him out and stuck him on there. There's some personal journaling under this flap behind here. Um, this is a picture of an old drawing that I did that I stuck there. Just playing with watercolor again. I didn't really... a drawing. I wasn't super excited about how this came out. But once I put this amazing Amy Tangerine Acetate Hummingbird on there, it was like the perfect page. Like, I freaking love this hummingbird. I wish I could buy 500 million of them and put them on everything. But unfortunately, you have to buy a whole ephemera pack and you only get one. <sighs> Tangent. Okay. So, this is uh, when Courtney from The Little Ink came out with her, um, I think it's Week in the Life of a Journaler or Day in the Life of a Journaler or something like that, where she shows you her natural process of just a little bit of journaling here and there instead of doing one complete spread. Um, and it's completely changed my style and I absolutely love it. So that was when this started. Um, and then this just was a sticky note that I got from my one of the people's houses I clean. Um, I stuck some of my prescription stickers on there. I don't know why, I just felt like it. I got, this was the Amy Tangerine haul that I got. I've wanted Amy Tangerine um, and Femur and stickers for a really long time because their stuff is so bright and inspiring, but I had never um, allowed myself to kind of get that. But I did, and I'm super glad that I did. This is a selfie with those glasses. Um, I really wanted to incorporate some more white space and kind of simplify my pages, especially after this page right here. Um... So I just did this to kind of remind myself, and I love this picture, blurred picture of this camera. I think it's really cool. That came in some happy mail from uh, Pam. It on the other, I think it was from my Flow magazine. On the other side, she had um, there's another image, which I think she meant to send me that image, but I really liked that one. So, yep. This is another pocket that I made. This is just a magazine cutout with some ephemera stuck on the top. Um, and this is just some to-do lists and journaling. This is from Pan's Patreon as well. And then this is a little map um, of a place in Maine that I work. Um, I had um, put a picture of the place that I work off of Google Maps on there. Um, and I don't want to give that away, so <laughs> it's a hotel. And I put that on there, and I want to write about how kind my bosses are there and how much I enjoy my job and 
I'm so happy that this is, will be the third year that I'm working there. Um, and they're just amazing. Uh, so I still have to journal about that. This, um, it snowed a ton. So I was taking like, um, progressive photos of this fence in their backyard when I was babysitting that house to kind of gauge how much snow we were getting. So this was like on Tuesday and that you could almost see all of the fence. And then this is on Thursday and the fence is like over halfway gone. So yeah, <sighs> that's there. This is Simon from the Coco Daisy February kit. Um, this was some scrapbook paper, so I just cut it up and it stuck an ephemera over the top. I was getting ready to shovel, so that's what that is. Um, I sent Pam some happy mail and she posted it on Instagram, so I just um, sent me a really sweet message, so I just wrote about that. This is um, appreciating all the things my body does for me. Um, I had an idea for a collab that I might be doing with Pam in April, so that was in, I put that in there, and then this is some journaling about a dream that I had, but I'm not going to pull it out because it's kind of personal. Um, these are just some magazine cutouts that I had I was trying to use up, and personal journaling there, and the, again, I kept this page kind of simple, that's just, it was the end of it. And then I was doing a bunch of mixed media, and this is a page left over from that with Amy Tangerine Acetate and a photo of me that I liked. And this was another mixed media piece that I did, so I printed a picture of that and stuck it over my to-do list because I didn't get really any of it done. This is a journal with me that I did that I will leave linked in a card for you if you haven't seen it already. Um, I made this kind of cool waterfall tip out um, about body image kind of, so that was fun. And just like my general catch-up style journaling that I really like to do. Uh, this was another piece that I did um, in my sketchbook. So I put that there. I th believe that was an Instagram photo. If you're not following me on Instagram, it's always in the description box below. And you'll get to see things that I don't um, post on YouTube. So don't forget to do that. This is a pocket that I made out of, this was a collage sheet by Courtney's on her Patreon. I did stick this skull guy on here, it wasn't on there, but I just cut it up and made like a little pocket out of it, because it was already a sticker, so why not? And these again are just to-do lists from that week that I put little tabs on, because I thought that was fun. Um, more of that, this is some... Facebook post that I did some personal journaling about. Um, this night it was like, there was this beautiful blue, like white glow outside with all the snow and it almost looked um, kind of like daylight. It was so bright and it wasn't even the full moon, which was cool. So I just, it this picture doesn't do it justice at all, but it was the best I could get. Um, so I just put day and night um, with the, I took a photo of the same tree and stuff. I thought that was fun to do. This is a Michael's receipt where, um, this coupon wasn't actually running, but somehow it got, um, the woman applied it to my order anyway, and I got my stuff on, uh, an extra 20% off, so that was awesome. This is a really funky dream that I had, and I illustrated part of that there. Um, just taping in more lists. I was getting a cold for the last few days that I was babysitting their house, and I just, blah, enough said, I didn't feel like writing anything else, um, and I just felt like crapola, so, yep, that's that. These are some awesome tags that I got at Michael's that I just wanted to stick on there. Um, this must have been the 19th. This is a quote that I saw that I thought was good. And then as I was, um getting ready to leave um, the house I was watching. I felt really inspired to like kind of write it in a story style, um, a dramatic story style as if the end of the world was coming and you were preparing for that. It just made packing and getting ready a lot more fun. Um, so that's what that is. It's just a little story. And then this is just 
a mess of collage. <laughs> Pretty much, there's um, some personal journaling in these pages. That's why they're clipped together. This was my latest journal with me, which I will leave linked again in a card if you haven't seen that yet. That was a lot of fun. I did all three of these spreads in that journal with me. And then I had six pages left, but as you can see, this thing, it's huge. Like, look at that. It's absolutely insane. So, um, yeah. I was just done. So I printed it, I cut out the last six pages and I wrote a little um, message to this journal, <laughs> which is kind of weird, I know, but that's what I do. And then this was my February YouTube planner. This was a wish list that I started that I never finished because I moved it somewhere else. This is the test page that I have in the back of every single one of my journals. I test um, different mediums, so like if I want to see if a pen is waterproof, I'll test it there. If it bleeds, what kind of materials bleed. And this paper is like the holy grail of all paper. If I could only use one paper for the rest of my life, it would be the Midori MD paper. I wish, 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 wish with all my heart that they sold it in loose sheets because I would make all the inserts in the world with this paper. Um, but these thick inserts are just, I make them too bulky. I need one like half that size. Um, so I might buy another one and take it apart. Take the signatures apart and stitch them into individual inserts. Um, I don't know. It's only like a $10 insert. But the, like I said, the paper, I like it more than Tamale River paper. For real. Like, it's so good. Because it holds up to tip-ins with the Tomoe River paper, like, it's not thick enough to hold the weight of so many tip-ins, and of course I use a lot of that, um, and this paper is just <sighs> so perfect. Side tangent. Anyway, um, in the back here I just have a pocket with a couple of photos that I didn't use, and that is it, you guys. I moved in to my other insert already. Um, I moved in on the 28th of February to this insert. This is one that I made. I have a video for that as well, which I will try to link. Um, but yeah, so this is my new insert. Uh, I used up the rest of my Tomoe River paper and put in some of the March Cocoa Daisy pages. And, yeah, I've been having a lot of fun in that. So, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the comments box below. I love talking to you guys. I hope you have a fantastic day um, or week. Uh, if you did a video about what you're using for a journal um, or have any flip-throughs or whatever, you want to pop in the comment box as well. I love, love, love watching flip-throughs. Um, so yeah, don't forget to like, give me a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in my next one. Bye guys.